so tell us a little bit why, we, why you guys are here today. Uh, we're here today to, uh, well, we, yesterday and today, and in the past, we, um, we have a campaign to provide glasses for children who, who need them. And, you know, there's a lot of children in the Milwaukee area who can't afford glasses and can't get their hands on them. And I know wearing glasses since I was in fifth grade, you, you don't really realize that your vision is going. You just start noticing that you got to squint a little uh, more to, mm -hmm. to read the chalkboard. And I remember when I got my first pair of glasses, it was a whole new world, a brand new place. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. Like, I can see. So you see. were excited. Oh, absolutely. I mean, see, the kids now, they have more stylish glasses yeah. than I had. I, if you saw the pictures <laughs> that they showed, I looked like a mess. With the, I had a big old <laughs> bottle, clap, bottle cap glass. It was terrible. But thank God for Wisconsin Vision, I have since progressed to some stylish frames. Yes, you have some very stylish frames, and we should point out you're there in the blue shirt, right? Uh, Mom and Dad, why do they dress me like that? How does that whole happen, family. Right? I was going to say, that's all the 80s right there. That's know, your whole is, family. What is wrong with us? Yeah, I'm just asking those hairstyles. You know, there's one person not in there, my brother's not in there. Oh, he's not? No. Okay. But yeah, otherwise, you have, it's what, five family. siblings? Yeah, four sisters and a brother, and we have 15 nieces and nephew, and one more on the way. Wow, oh, congratulations. Yeah. I'm the only one that doesn't have kids, but I'm sure when I do have kids, they'll be all wearing glasses. Yes. yes. I will force Even your them. dog wears glasses, right? <laughs> exactly. They don't see Darren, Darren's going to help fit my family's glasses. Even if they don't need them, he'll be like, get them. Yeah. 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 We're going to wear plain on glasses. Yeah. Let's talk about a few statistics. Speaking of glasses, because studies show that the poorer the school population, the more children need glass glasses. So there's some sort of correlation between the poorest kids and the need for glasses, right? That is correct. And, we, you know, we don't know exactly why. It could be just access to health care. It could be diet. It could be a lot of different demographic issues. Um, we're working in this in conjunction with Prevent Blindness Wisconsin as well as uh, the Milwaukee Public School Systems in these areas because we know the incidence is very high. But what we really want to emphasize as well is that parents in general, we don't care where you come from, should bring your children yeah. in for eye exams. Mm -hmm. We change their world. 80% of their learning is through their eyes. Mm -hmm. So if we don't address that, we can't create an experience that's very positive. And when we went to Clark Street School back in April, we did uh, 45 eye exams, or visual acuity exams, for glasses. And all those children needed glasses. Eight were, without corrective lenses, legally blind. There was wow. one fifth grade wow. girl that couldn't see the big E on the chart. So if you've all, you know, you've been to the doctor, you see the chart, you see the big E, they couldn't see it. She could not see it. Well, and I know you were out and about yesterday. We have some pictures and you interacting at some of the schools yeah. because this program that you have with 45 youngsters started last spring with Wisconsin Vision, and you were at Clark Street School, which is in one of Milwaukee's poorest neighborhoods. Kids were getting free eye exams and eyeglasses from Wisconsin Vision. Um, and there were all those kids, dozens of kids, who got free eyeglasses. Um, and then you're actually now in, in, in a mode of, <laughs> there you are, <laughs> of, of expanding the program and including the Gwen T. Jackson School, where budget cuts, a lot of people there know, have eliminated their school nurse, as well as um, the opportunity for kids to be screened for vision problems then. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. And we, uh, we actually uh, elevated the program one step further this time. We actually have equipment on site. Uh, to give the children instant gratification so that they can take advantage of their glasses right away. They don't have to wait. Uh, for the vast majority, there's some that we have to take back to our central lab, but uh, for the most part, most of those children walked away yesterday with a whole new world. That's yeah. really Cute. neat. And I remember in fifth grade when I got glasses too. Like for then it wasn't, awesome. yeah, and it was a little, you know, I was a little scared. It made me cry at first, but now, like you said, they're so cool, and a lot of these children are getting what Disney Power Ranger yep. brand eyeglasses. So it really is fun. It's fashionable, but it's also really helping them in so many different it's come ways. Come a long way since when I used to get, you mm -hmm. know, how to get glasses. You know, yesterday we're sitting there and I'm watching the eye exams go on, and and the kids are excited. They're going over it. See, it's not, you know, I've seen a lot of glasses programs where free glasses are given away and it's you know it's free glasses mm -hmm. you know you but this time it's these it's not just a free program it's a program where there's trendy glasses mm -hmm. that have been donated by name brand companies have gotten involved with Wisconsin Vision and what we're doing here and these are nice glasses you got to see the the way these kids look I oh mean, I look, bet it's so fashionable one kid I asked her how do you like the glasses she goes my glasses are as cool as yours I said good answer <laughs> <laughs> You're going places, young lady. <laughs> I love that. I think that's a cool thing you do for the program, too, is you do. You bring a whole element of style and cool to wearing glasses, you know. People see the billboards. They see your dog, you know, wearing the glasses. And it, it has become cool, and it's become, you know, it's a stylish trend. Absolutely a fashion statement. Someone asked me yesterday, would you wear glasses even if you didn't have a prescription? Absolutely. These make a statement, you know, with, with who I am and what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, I love glasses. I really do. It helps It's a good have, thing. Yeah. <laughs> It helps, it, it helps to have somebody glasses. cool 
repping the brand yeah. and repping glasses. Absolutely. So if you think Absolutely. the kids who need them. Yes. And, and you know, when, when the children saw Danny yesterday uh, walk in, there were grins ear to ear. No. Um, their self esteem was just enhanced by not only Danny's presence, but being able to pick out some really great frames mm -hmm. that they feel good wearing. And it's that's great. important as, as anything else because they'll feel good about themselves. It's fantastic. It is great. And you're going to be at the Gwen T. Jackson School today doing the same thing. Yeah. So people can wait outside the fence for you there. Um, <laughs> well, you kids, yes, wait for you there. Uh, but here's the information for Wisconsin Vision so that you can stop in, find a pair that not only makes you trendy, but also helps you see better, too. It's WisconsinVision.com. And people can find out more about the program there, too, right? Absolutely. In our press room, we have uh, all the information. It's great. Thanks, Thanks for you guys. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here. Come back again. Fun.